Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at this morning is a Unify 7.4. Now, typically, I don't do videos on release candidates, but Ubiquity themselves actually went ahead and made this announcement that it's released. So, uh, and I've been running the EA version for quite a while, and everything's been fine. In fact, I I got a little mixed up on my timelines. And uh, some of the last videos that I did, like the open VPN video, is actually this version. So let's hop over here real quick and take a look. There's a lot of stuff that has been changed and added. Um, so you can see officially 7.4.156 supports open VPN server, improves port profiles and port manager sections. So open VPN is found under the VPN server section. And we did that video. We'll do a WireGuard video and an updated L2TP video as well. You've seen the new port profiles and port managers that we've kind of messed with. Tons of improvements. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a link to this down in the description. But I want to take a look at just a couple things um, that I noticed that had been changed. And tell me if they were changed before, but I think I think some of this just got changed. And, and one of the things um, could be kind of indicative maybe of things to come maybe it's just a a rename so you're used to us talking about um quality of service and about you know that unify needs to get some you know deeper deeper qos now uh what i'm going to do is we're going to go over to the udr here and we're going to go to Profiles, and you'll notice now that you've got this Wi-Fi QoS. And when we look at this and we go to Create New, it is still just the bandwidth limiting, right? So technically, is it QoS? I don't know. I don't know if we can shoehorn this into the Q, into QoS because really QoS is going to manage the traffic and help us shape our traffic to to make sure that certain applications have enough bandwidth, right? But if I've got, you know, a Wi-Fi QoS that, you know, is this kids, and right now it's unlimited, but let me say, you know, let's say that I do 100 megabits, and I've only got a gigabit, and I've got, you know, 20 people connected, and they're using this, now, you know, they can pull two, theoretical two gigabits, right? So this rename, I'm wondering if we've got more, Things that are that are coming. Um, a couple of the other things. I mean, the 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 UI has been completely kind of refreshed, and, and it's looking really it's looking really good. Here's the other thing. There is a traffic map now uh, that uh, allows you in the uh, the country blocking. You can interact with the map. Um, just look at all of these changes. I'm super excited for this because I, I think the, the bigger changes are on the horizon. Now, I don't know any more than you, but I'm really hoping that that QoS rename is indicative of things to come. Uh, Hotspot, Portal, and Guess. It's been a while since we did a video on that, so that is coming soon. And then um, under VPN... Obviously, we have added the Open VPN. It does require a UXG or a Unify Gateway Console, so it does not work on the USGs. Uh, added the UXG Pro Teleport VPN support on the default site. Uh, let's see. If Teleport VPN is disabled, the used subnet is now released and can be used on other networks. So we ran into this, where if you had Teleport enabled, and uh, I ran into it um, on a client that had a 192.168.2 network, I think, which is might be the default on that. And then they had a larger uh, subnet, and we couldn't use that larger subnet when we migrated because they had already enabled the uh, Teleport VPN. So then we were getting like an overlap error and all kinds of things. So that has now been fixed. Um, added support for IP version 6 and domain traffic rules. Added functionality to traffic rules for allow for allowing domains blocked by ad blocking. So looks like you can now uh, release some things a little bit. Um, improve the application firewall. Removed honeypot configurations from setups that have a USG. That's interesting. And then a whole list of bug fish bug fixes. 
And then some known issues here. Open VPN clients are not shown on the client page. This functionality requires Unify OS 3.1 or greater. So I would say as long as you have a backup, you're probably good to upgrade to this. And a lot, you know, all the videos that we have now going forward are all going to be based on this 7.4 uh, release family. So if you're going to follow along, you're going to want to make sure that you upgrade. So if you've got questions about this, let me know. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do a second video uh, to do a, a kind of an in-depth, kind of an in-the-weeds setup. Let me know if there's specific things you want to see down in the comments. And uh, if you are digging Unify Network application and you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. Make sure you check out Unify Network application 7.4.156. Good stuff coming. If you'd like to support the channel, our affiliate links are down below. If you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.